Riddler has kidnapped Catwoman and is planning to trap Batman. Everything goes according to the plan. Batman wakes up surrounded by exactly 1,000 barrels and realizes that Catwoman has been poisoned. He finds out that in order to save her and escape, he must solve a riddle. Out of 1,000 barrels, 999 contain an extra dose of poison which would make her even worse. Only one barrel contains an antidote that will cure her instantly. How to find the barrel with the antidote? The Riddler builds a testing machine which will detect even a single drop of the antidote in any solution. The machine can test 10 samples simultaneously. Every sample may be obtained by mixing specimens of solution taken from an arbitrary number of barrels. The machine marks green the samples that contain traces of the antidote. The samples without a single drop of the antidote are marked pink. The task is to find the antidote barrel in the smallest number of tests. Darn it! Batman knows how to do it in three tests, but he notices the instruction says that the testing machine can be used only once. Luckily, Batman knows the most intelligent human being in the universe. He calls Sheldon Cooper. Obviously, Dr. Cooper knows the optimal solution to the riddle. It goes as follows. Let's first rearrange the barrels. Awesome as always, Sheldon decides to solve an even harder riddle. 2.4% harder. He claims to be able to find the antidote with one test among 1024 barrels. How to make the sampling set? First, divide our square of barrels into two proper rectangles, the top one and the bottom one. We pour a drop from every barrel from the bottom rectangle to the first sampler. We then divide each of the two rectangles into left and right squares and the second sampler is filled with drops from every barrel in the right squares. We now have four squares and in the third step each square is divided into two proper rectangles, top and bottom ones. Once again, we use all barrels from the bottom rectangles to make sample 3. To prepare sample 4, we again divide each rectangle into two squares, left and right. We use the barrels in the right squares. In general, if we have proper rectangles, we divide them into left and right squares and use the right ones. On the other hand, if we have squares, we divide them into top and bottom rectangles and use the bottom ones to make a new sample. Now, let's learn how to interpret the results. Let's assume the machine prints pink, pink, green on the first three samples, respectively. What does it mean? The first pink stud means the antidote cannot be in the bottom rectangle, so it's in the top one. The second pink stud tells us the antidote cannot be in the right square, it's in the left square. Finally, the green stud in the third position means the antidote is in the bottom part. Let's run a full simulation. The pink stud tells us the antidote is in the top rectangle. The second pink stud tells us it's in the left square, bottom rectangle, right square, bottom rectangle, right square, bottom rectangle, right square, bottom rectangle, and finally left square. At each step, we remove one half of the remaining barrels. It means that after 10 steps, we're always left with exactly one barrel. Batman manages to find the antidote and cures Catwoman.